We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. You're listening to Power 98.5, powered by United Angels Dream, your number one resource for public relations, entertainment, and multimedia. Contact them today at unitedangelsdream.com. Empowering listeners from the U.S. to the U.K. Live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Hey, what's up? My name's Grant Kenoki. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and artist, and you're listening to Power 98.5. It is that type of day today. Beautiful in what mid 60s. Can you believe it? Spring is coming early. 62 today. Just had to get that out there. Boy, oh boy, I was back uh, in New Jersey, New York, and I left real quick. <laughs> Real quick, I got out of there. I was like, oh no. that it, it, That's the great thing about being bi-coastal is having the opportunity. And it really is great. Whether you have a home on the East Coast or West Coast or, you know, in, in multiple areas, or if you've got a vacation rental, or you're doing a, you know, Airbnb, it is nice to be able to not feel stuck in one location, especially especially when the weather is not serving you. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm back here on the West Coast, uh, back here because I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, in the New York area during winter. I am coming back. If the big event, anything happens at all, I will be back in New York, always flying back and forth a lot. Uh, however, I am enjoying the West Coast 62 degrees today. It's been 60s all weekend. It is still getting cold at night. I don't mind. You know, 37, 40, 45. That's fine. Uh, it's dry, no humidity. And uh, I, I, I'm loving what I'm wearing. Have you guys noticed that? <laughs> you know, I'm coming in. I, I've, I, I'm not, you know, I don't have my down feather jacket and all that stuff like I've got a a nice cardigan on a pair of jeans maybe cargo pants or something I mean you guys are dressed in light and <laughs> Brian you're always dressing you know or dressed for summer if I can say <laughs> I always feel like there's a beach right outside the door no matter what the weather is going to be like it's like oh we see the rain and then all of a sudden Brian walks outside and it's sunny 90 degrees and we're on uh we're in Fiji that's what it feels like all the time Brian loves to dress for summer all year long we have do we have anything in the in the messengers today in my messengers Hey, if you're, whether you're listening to, uh, you know, Power 98.5 on the iOS or Android app or our website, power985.com, click the bottom right hand corner messenger. Sometimes I call it a tick. Sometimes I call it an icon. I call it a tick because when I'm out in the, uh, in the UK, they call it a tick, not a tab, not an icon. It's a tick. Um, and sometimes when you hear things so repetitively, it like goes, and I'm not going to listen, don't anybody think you can brainwash me because you can't, uh, it's just certain things I become accustomed to that I enjoy listening. And it's, it's really exciting to me when I learn something new, especially in another region or another country and something I never thought of before. And, you know, working in public relations and media, when you hear something over and over and over again, you kind of feel as though that is the, the real name of it. That's what it's really supposed to be called. So, yeah. Bottom right hand icon in the UK, in, in, you know, in Europe, they call it a tick. Here in the States, we call it messenger. Send us your love, your support. If you have a question, we've got model and actor Andrew Beer not with us today family friends whoever you are 
or if you're just finding out about Andrew for the first time, don't hesitate to send your love, share your love and support. And if you have a question or a comment for Andrew or even myself, go ahead and click the messenger, whether you're on the iOS or Android app or the website. And my team, as well as myself, we will share it live with you today. We have also coming up. So today is the 5th. All right, so we've got music artist Justin Love on the 7th, 8 a.m. Pacific, 8 to 9, 9 10, 11 a.m. Eastern. Justin Love, he's represented by Hero, who is the manager to music artists everybody in the world knows, Akon. We're going to do an introduction on February 7th with Justin. Then February 14th, Valentine's Day, exclusive with Justin Love. We're going to do a live music drop with his new hit. I'm going to call it a new hit. It's going to be a new hit. No Friends. So that's going to be February 14th. February 7th, all Justin Love. February 14th, live music drop. You're going to hear it first and only on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. No Friends. We're also going to add that to our station's lineup, and you'll be able to hear that live on Power 98.5, whether you're listening to us, and I, I know I recap at times, and it's very important, whether it be on the iOS or Android app, uh, what is it, uh, where are we at, come on, <laughs> you, I, I'm going to have either Brian or Christina come in and do my introductions today, It's it's just... I didn't sleep too well last night. I did, but I didn't. There's such changes in the air. Like I woke up at one and then I woke up at five and, you know, I just was doing my yoga breathing and then just sitting right back into just meditating and falling back to sleep. But there's, there's a lot of great changes happening and, uh, the, the waking up in the middle of night or things happening is due to excitement. I'm very happy to say my sleep patterns have been a bit off because of excitement, so many great things going on. Uh, like I said, uh, whether it be the website, power985.com, power985.com, yes. And um, uh, Alexa, yes, I got to be quiet because we got her in the uh, studio. Or you're listening to us on her <laughs> anywhere in the world. My favorite is my tuner. Now, I always want you guys to be home with us on Power 98.5. You know, the thing of it is, is you don't need a membership. It's not like those other platforms. We are a commercial free station. We just added, I believe it was eight or 10 tracks today. Was it eight or 10? 11. 11 tracks we added today. We're always refreshing. This is not a radio station, satellite radio station, where you're going to hear the same music for several months. We are always adding something new every single week to the station in our lineup Uh, something always fresh and fantastic for you Uh, remember add in justin love february 7th february 14th february 9th we have my good friend nat and levy and we also have on february 11th my good friend james pratt he's an actor and producer and that's going to be at 11 a.m. Pacific on February 11th. We'll go over all at the end. And I'm, I'm honestly still waking up. If it, or I'm just in that mood to where I just feel very, very relaxed. I'm going to do my chi exercises. Uh, most likely probably like after the interview with Andrew. And we're just going to see how this day unfolds and I may do something different. I've been taking a break lately, which you guys and people have been asking. No, I have not been on social media, especially Instagram. I've put, you know, a lot of time into it. It's a great business and, you know, source for me. I call it the new IMDB. And I wanted to really disconnect So I've been taking a day, a day and a half, two days off. I only went on Instagram today because I wanted to share the video, and we're going to hear it, of uh, Andrew Biernot. He did an incredible job, loved his singing. It really is one of the best promo videos that has been made. Uh, 
my I've been getting messages on LinkedIn. I've gotten a couple messages on Twitter. I know there's going to be a lot of messages on uh, Instagram. If I've ever been backed up with Instagram uh, DMs, I am really backed up on Instagram DMs. And I don't care, to be quite honest. I, I'm taking a break. And I feel fucking fan- good, fantastic. I don't feel as stressed. I don't know if you know this or not. When you take a break from social media, even if it's a couple hours or a day and you go back to it, it feels different. I truly don't feel overwhelmed or stressed. Not that I had any regrets before. I am loving how the flow is going. I am pushing to be a week off of social media. That is my goal. Thank God I have a team to help me out, especially with my socials and Instagram. You know, if you end up, I handle my personal account. Christina and Christine helped me with Imaj Magazine International, Model Me VIP, United Angels Dream, which is my, which is my public relations firm, and Power 98.5 Instagram accounts. I'm in those. If you end up reaching out to anyone, most likely someone from my team is going to get back a hold of you. Twitter I handle on my own. LinkedIn I handle on my own. But from time to time, I may ask one of my assistants to go and reach out or, or respond back to you. I think we're all caught up. <laughs> Let's get that awesome video with Andrew. I want to hear that singing. He can do this anytime, all the time. It was a great surprise, a great treat, a great add-on to something that's very, very different. And you guys are going to hear it if you didn't hear it already. Let's play it. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. My name's Andrew Biernot. I'm an actor, model, and karaoke enthusiast. Be sure to tune into my live interview with critically acclaimed radio personality Stephen Kowoko on Power 98.5. Hit it, Frank. Lie me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. Thank you guys and have a beautiful day. Yeah, you've got to get on over to my, whether it be Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. It is a phenomenal video. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We've got to go and publish that on Daily Motion. I really want to republish that. I'm going to. We're going to do it today. <laughs> Andrew Beernot, my guy. I'm loving him a lot. He lives in Los Angeles with his beautiful wife, Michelle. They have two dogs and a cat. They've got Oliver, Ellie, and Lucy. He's an actor and a model, and he's been featured in multiple magazines, and he's been on the cover of over 500 romance novels. Now, come on. When you see him, You're going to be like, yeah, he's the suave, sophisticated brunette of a type of European type of, you know, I I told him he's, he reminds me of a, a, a brunette version of a Fabio, very different, but it works. Uh, We're going to, Brian, we're going to need to get you a book. (laughs) and then you're going to have some goals on what your physique is going to be for 2023. You're going to get rid of that beer belly. (laughs) It's not a bad bill. It actually, it's not a beer belly. It's a little cub belly, but it works for you. Dad, God, God, dad bods are in. Hasn't anyone told you dad bods are in, but you can always be inspired by Andrew's physique and know that you can always have that anytime you want. Uh, but the, the the cub, yeah, that works. <laughs> um, he's been in the lead in three featured films, two of which are coming out this year. He's originally from Spokane, Washington, and he moved to California in 2014 to pursue a career in skateboarding. 
He was sponsored by multiple companies and was featured in Trans World Skateboarding Magazine. Unfortunately, Andrew had injured his knee, which ended his skateboarding career. And it was acting, he ended up taking acting classes in San Diego, California, and where he immediately fell in love. And now look where he's at. I'm, yeah, I, it, it, skateboarder. Do you see his photo? I'm not saying he doesn't, couldn't pass for a skateboarder, but yeah, I mean, it's like, wow. <laughs> He's incredible. Andrew, welcome to Live On Air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5. Hey, Stephen. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really happy to be here. You're welcome. Uh, we usually uh, don't go that long, or I don't go that long. Uh, in the beginning, I'm in this coastal mode of, actually, we all are, but I'm more myself. I, I woke up at 1 o'clock five o'clock i actually i woke up several times it i don't know if it's because of the weather changes there's a lot going on i'm, I'm handling a lot of contract negotiations right now for my clients also for myself loving getting you know booking these interviews I, i've never pounded out so many interviews since the first year of the pandemic and then i just decided to slow down and big shout out to Marcos Papadados for putting this together. He is excited when this was shared on Facebook. He was like, woohoo. And I was trying to find you. Um, are Do you even, I know you have a Facebook account and was trying to tag you. But sometimes if you have a, a business profile or a or certain, I don't know, whatever they call those profiles, that's not a, where we can friend request you tagging is a little bit winky wonky but do you have a personal profile on facebook i do um and i'm i'm really i am so bad with facebook like i i have like mostly my family on there on my personal account and then i do have two business accounts i guess you you could call it one's for acting and one's for modeling and I, i'm really not i'm not too active on any of them um so i apologize for that uh but I, on my personal account, I, I'll find you on that and I'll add you on that. Perfect. Yeah, I was. Um, I wanted to tag you in that video. And honestly, no BS. I love it. And the feedback has been really good. When I get back on Instagram, I know I'm going to you know, hear more about it. I did post it on my United Angels Dream PR page. So definitely check back in the comments later you know, I'm saying to you, Andrew, to see what people are saying. I know I'm going to respond. Don't hesitate to respond. They could end up becoming your your new fan favorites. Uh, but it's quite interesting to, to have you guys create those videos. And it really, that's what I love most about it. Instead of me, as I told you, and what most people know is instead of doing it the way maybe like Ryan Seacrest or Mario Lopez would do it, i rather you guys you know, show yourself and do the introductions because that's where people get to see you and shine. Cause I wouldn't have sang for you. I don't have your voice and you did very well. And I wouldn't even call it karaoke style. It was really, really well done. And I'm going to tell you, this just came to my mind. Sometimes even when I'm tired or I'm in that hazy zone, I do get brilliant ideas. I would love for you to have a conversation with your your agent and look into voice over work and not only for commercials i believe you could do so well with walt disney getting into to cartoons or pixar I, when i seen that and i heard it i really can picture you doing something in for disney or whoever Oh, well, well, thank you so much. I, I mean, I would, I would honestly love to do that. Um, it's, I, I, yeah, I just, uh, I, I haven't really, I've been so focused on just the acting part that I haven't really, I haven't really thought about doing voiceover work too much, but it's, that's definitely something I should be bringing up to my agent, I think. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, you know, and I'm saying this as a compliment, one of the, the characters or caricatures, characters, yeah, uh, 
is Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. And I thought to myself, that's the first person that you remind me of was Gaston. <laughs> I, I'm going to take that as a compliment. It is a huge compliment. <laughs> huge. Well, I know I have no idea what people think from one person to a, to another. But whether it's the whether it's Beast or Gaston, I think because I'm able to relate to the visuals, you know, the your physique, the hair, everything reminds me of Gaston. Seriously, you can well, do I, this. I I think out of all the characters from from that uh, Disney movie. I think Gaston would be the fun, the, the most fun to play. I think personally. Absolutely. So if they ever have a remake, cause you know, Pete, they, the industry loves to remake content. Um, I'm serious. I hope to hear that you're going out and auditioning for Gaston. Well, if it happens, I, I you'll be the first to know. <laughs> I hope so. I know so, because we're going to have to get you back on the radio and talk about it. <laughs> or even if it's, you know, beforehand, if they ever have a uh, cast for a live Broadway performance, either way, it's it's made for you. And I, I really, really hope that you can land a lot of great parts um, in yeah. the world of Disney and Pixar and all of that, because you would do exceptionally, exceptionally well. Oh, Thank man. you so much. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I would love to do a musical. Um, it, it's funny because my mom, she, she absolutely loves karaoke. So whenever I go home to visit um, Spokane, my mom always wants to go out to karaoke bars. And she's really, she's extremely talented. She has a really good voice. And uh, I think that's kind of where I picked it up from. Um, but she's always told me, she's like, you need to sing or you need to be in a band or something. And uh if I was ever to do that, I, I definitely think I would need to get some some. Uh, I need to get a vocal coach, I think, because like the only practice I ever get is if I'm at a karaoke bar. <laughs> That's still practice. Yeah, but I, you guys saw what you guys just saw was probably that that was a good little portion of my singing there. I've had some. I've had some uh, not so great moments at karaoke bars too. So it's, uh, I definitely would need some training. I think uh, everyone does. I mean, you know, I, I have, I, I'm not an expert in to know what happens to your voice, but as they say, your body changes every seven years. I'm actually going into my seven year and it's, it's true. It, it's a scientific fact. Uh, even hairdressers and stylists will tell you, my hair used to be kinky curly, like really tight curls. I don't really have curls anymore. My hair is between straight and wavy now. Uh, you know, your bones change, your ears change, your nose change, your you, you, hair starts growing out of places you never thought you would ever have hair grow out from. It's, or, or it, yeah, it's... It's amazing, and I'm going to tell you, Andrew, you're young, you're vibrant, you're talented, and that's the beauty of being a human being and that you're going to continue to enjoy in your own journey is to be able to live life experience through understanding and being compassionate and to learn. And I've always said a true master is a student and teacher all at the same time. While you are learning, Andrew, you're going to also be teaching not only yourself, but other people with that, yeah. you're going to be able to do whatever you want because you're that talented. Well, th thank you so much. That I, I couldn't agree with you uh, anymore. That was, yeah, that was beautifully said. You have some projects coming up. Let's get to those because I really want to talk about them. What do we have to look forward to? And I know it's a film, one film or two films? Two films that will be coming out. Um, I I still don't have the release dates um, on these films yet. Um, one of the films, Love Marks the Spot, uh, I did um, earlier in the, uh, of last year, I think it was around May, um, but we have a trailer out for that. Um, and it's called Love Marks the Spot, um, starring myself and then, uh, uh, Annika Foster and she's amazing. She she was so great to work with, um, and I I'm really excited about that film. I'm not exactly sure where what network it's going to be on um, yet, uh, 
but when I do, um, I, I'll be sure to let people know on my social media accounts. Um, and then the next film that I have coming out is Wait With Me. And I, they again, they don't have a release date, but they were saying um, sometime around spring. So I'm I'm guessing it could be possibly March, but uh, still waiting for that information. But I got to work with um, Colleen, Colleen Davy James. She was the director on that film and uh, extremely talented. And I learned so much working with her. And um, the actress that I, I was acting opposite of in the film, Madison Lawler, she's again, she, I, I get, I'm very fortunate with all of the actors I've gotten to work with and she was just so talented and I felt like it was every, every, every scene I got to work with her in, I was, I was learning it. She's just so natural and so truthful in the way she um, just approaches every scene. And it's, it, it was really amazing to watch just firsthand. Um, and I, I'm out of everything I've done. It's, I feel like every project I've done leading up um, to this most recent one, it just, it prepared me uh, for that role. And I, I'm just, I'm so proud of it. And I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Uh, there's still no trailer out for that one yet, but I think that's coming soon, like within the next couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah. Colleen from Ohio wanted me to give a shout out to you. And she says that she absolutely loves you and she plans to support you throughout the rest of your journey in the world of film and modeling she said she's googling you right now and she did not know that there was um she said this is what she says i didn't realize there were this many sexy photos of andrew online she says i need to start googling more often <laughs> well thank you so much colleen <laughs> i i appreciate all the love and support and the kind words and uh, don't knife too deep, okay? Because the, the photos might get kind of spicy. Oh, well, well, that, well, hey, do whatever you need to do. Hey, enjoy yourself. Keep Googling. Happy Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Colleen. We're going to go ahead and I've got the trailer up right now. Love marks the spot. I hope there's going to be a red carpet premiere on this. I think that one might be going straight to t straight to TV. Um but again, I, 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 I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I know that wait with me. Um, I know that they plan to do a red carpet premiere for that. Um, it's either going to be in Atlanta or here in LA. Mm -hmm. I know that they were thinking about doing it in LA because, uh, Madison and I both live here, but, um, the production company, uh, or the, the streaming service passion flicks, um, their, their production company is based in Atlanta. So it would, most of their people are over there. So it would make sense to do it in Atlanta. And I'm sure Madison and I would be more than happy to travel over there uh, for the premiere, of course. But, but we'll see, yeah, that one will definitely have a red carpet premiere. Before we play this trailer, is there anything that you would like to share more about when it comes to your character, the role, what it took you, uh, where it took you uh, within yourself emotionally and mentally to be this part well so this love marks the spot is a rom-com and it's it's very light-hearted and uh, my character lee price in the film he's actually an actor um and he he does uh, he's a really big action movie star and he wants to adapt these books um that you will hear about in the film he wants to adapt them into movies and try to be taken more seriously as like a dramatic actor. Um, so I, I just, I really just got to have a lot of fun and play with the character. And um, you, I think you see a lot of parts of myself in it. Um, and then there's just certain parts of me that I had to turn down the volume on, but I, I had so much fun doing it. And then just the, the cast and crew, they, um, they just, they were so great to work with. I felt like we were laughing most of the time in between every take. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Love Marks the Spot, starring Mr. Andrew Beernot. Becca is one of our most savvy junior editors. You need a good book, she knows how to find it. Bridge Lane made an offer to buy Grant. The board wants to sell? 
But Grayton's one of the oldest publishing houses. Mr. Price wants to adapt the Lover's Quest series into movies for him to star in. The film rights, that involves the Atwood estate. Lee needs a grand rep to travel with. Nobody knows the Atwoods like you do. You want me to go with him to Arcadia? Arcadia, yes. Is she all right? Becca, if you pull this off, you could save Grant. To think that they wrote the books right here. If my brother and sister-in-law wanted to keep it going, they would have written an ending. Not technically true. The lost last book. You mean that legend? What if that book is out there and, and we find it for you and we get you your ending? You find that book? Sure. You can make your movies. I don't know where the book is, but I do have a clue that could lead us to it. To you who finds this poem, you're on our very trail. We are definitely not lost. You are scared to go into the water, aren't you? It's not funny. Woo! This whole experience has inspired me. You are certainly not like everyone else. Far from it. The mortar looks broken in several places. Ah! Oldest trick in the book. We're saving Granny. I wanted to continue. The rights are yours. Grand's back in business. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> Thank you. I want you to strike a deal with us. Confirm you will make the movies with Bridge. You struck a deal with Bridge Lane so that you get to make your films no matter what. How did the Atwoods impact your life? The Atwoods impacted my life when I met one of their fans by kind of impacting real people. And in the end, open you up to love. Seems like I'm ready for my next adventure. Any idea what that could be? You remind me of, I think it's Justin Hartley from that show. This is oh, us. Uh... Yeah, this is a well. Thank you so much. I also love that show, by the way. Yeah, and you're Good. clean shaved. You do. You remind me of. You look like him a bit in this show or this movie. Well, thank you. That's uh, that's. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be on. Is that on uh, what network? Is that coming on again, Andrew? Love Mark so so, the the production company is um, Real One Entertainment, and they're. Um, they're actually the the same um, people I worked with on Christmas in Pine Valley. It's the exact same crew. Damien Romay, um, he directed part of the film, and then he had to go on to another film. And Bruno uh, Bruno Hernandez uh, directed the rest of the film. Um, but so I'm thinking it could possibly go on to Great American Family. But again, I it, they they haven't placed it with the network yet, so I don't want to I don't want to jump to any conclusions, and then I, I end up. I'm spreading the wrong information. Um, but uh, I, yeah, again, I, I know real one entertainment has released a lot of films on um, great American family. I have here and I'm actually, I'm actually Colleen. I'm Googling right now. Um, <laughs> I'm pulling up. You played Mitch in Eileen Warnos American boogeyman. And I watched that. Boogie, boogie woman. Is it uh, boogie woman? Yeah, because I mean? um, yeah. no, no. Daniel Farrens, Daniel Farrens also made another film about Ted Bundy, and it was called American Boogie Man. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. So that they released around the same time, but, but yeah, the film that I was in was Eileen Warnos' American Woman, starring Peyton West. I I got that up now. I believe, I believe I watched this. This is back in 2021. Yes, yeah. Um, and it, it was released on Netflix as well. Um, I think they just took it off Netflix like a couple days ago, and it's now on Hulu. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and that, that we shot that during, um, I think it was like the month, of, it was like December 2020. So I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, Daniel Farns told me that um, he's the director of the film and, the, and he wrote the script. Uh, I, th I believe he said that that was one of the first films greenlit to start production in, in LA during the pandemic and everything. So it was, that was like, it was pretty crazy times because gosh, we were doing rehearsals with our masks on and we had to kind of stay in our trailers until we started like setting up for the scene. It was just like, 
it was, it was just interesting. Um, it was really, it was, I, it was a big learning curve for me because, um, I've just, I've never experienced anything like that, but it, it was so much fun. And, uh, I think something I was telling Marcos, um, when I spoke to him last, uh, it was so crazy. We were out in the Marina on a sailboat going out to do some scenes. Cause there was, um, quite a bit of scenes shot out on the sailboat. And I was, we were going out there and Tobin Bell, this was the first time I, I saw him like on set. Uh, and we were like on the sailboat going out and he was looking at a bird and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is like, this is jigsaw. And like, you have this idea of him. I grew up watching all the saw movies and, um, he's the sweetest man you will ever meet. And he, and he's an avid bird watcher. He was like describing these birds that, that were flying by and, it was it was just like it was just crazy like i had to pinch myself because i was like is this real like you know, am i am i on a on a sailboat with tobin bell and he's like telling me about birds and he's just but he's such a kind man and uh, getting to watch him work was just it was once in a lifetime experience i'm honestly impressed how well tobin <laughs> is going in the industry i believe he's been in the industry for five decades if not more than that he's he's timeless he keeps going and going and going and going yeah yeah and he was it was there was this um one of the last scenes in that film is when he he falls down well peyton list character uh she plays eileen warno she pushes him down um a staircase and man it, the thing he was doing like he he obviously they he didn't fall down the stairs but he had to lay down at the bottom of the stairs and it was, we were filming in December and yes, we were in LA, but it was really cold. Like it was, and we had all the windows and doors open to the house that we were filming in because all the lights and equipment and camera crew. And um, just because of COVID and stuff, we wanted to have everything aired out and not like uh, restricted in small spaces. So it was pretty cold in there, but he's like wearing this, like his, his, the costume that his character is wearing is like wearing these pajamas and he's laying on this cold floor and they have fake blood on him. And I, I was like, man, this guy is a trooper. Like, and it's, and, but not once did he have any bad attitude, attitude toward any of the things that were asked of him. And he was just game for everything. He was, he's just seeing that is like, I, I hope I can have a career. Um, as, cause he's been in the industry, like you just said, for like five decades. It's like, it's, it's just impressive. And he's, it just, he seems like uh, he's just he's just so positive and energetic and just game for anything. And it's just that was really inspiring to watch. He has been active, it says here, and I'm reading this from Wikipedia, since the year I was born, 1974. He's 80 years old from Queens, New York. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And I think he has multiple things coming out it's like he's been yeah he's just been continually working since um he, you checked his eye I, I i think the last time i was on his imdb he had like multiple projects coming out but just really talented talented actor and artist you played the role of mitch who was mitch refresh my memory and what was that what was that experience like because that's not a that's not a soft movie that's especially with the the, the film with, uh, what is it, Nicole Richie and uh, Charlize Theron, it's intense. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I played the character Mitch Miller. Um, I don't, do you know who Swen Timmel, Timmel is? He's an actor as well. Uh, I know Marcos uh, knows him, but he played my brother Grady in the film. Um, and our, sorry, our father um, was played by uh nick balawanga um he he actually wrote the green book have you seen that film it's, a, it's he won an oscar for it, but he played our father um in the film victor miller and he's the attorney of tobin bell's character he's like uh, tobin bell's character is the commodore uh and there's this brief period in eileen warno's uh life where i think it was it was like a couple months period where she she met this commodore captain played by tobin bell and uh they got married it was like really quick and there there's no information um available out there about what happened during that time period i know there was some domestic violence and 
she did something to him and then he divorced her and he kind of kind of covered everything up about it so there's not really much information about it and daniel Ferrens, he the the movie takes place in that time period and he kind of it's it's um embellished and a lot of the things that happen in the film because she like kills people in this film didn't actually didn't factually happen in real life um so this, this is kind of a take that daniel Ferrens did um and it, it is it's i think it was really interesting and it, it was so much fun to film and again i just i feel so lucky that i was able to work with all these super talented actors i was i was playing um the boyfriend of lydia Hearst's character uh, she was playing Jennifer Fell, which is um, Tobin Bell's daughter in the film. And so it the the it really kind of takes place around Peyton List and her relationship with Tobin Bell, and then uh, Peyton List's relationship with his daughter Lydia Hurst. Those are those really I I see as the, the three main characters, and I was a supporting character, and I play like the supportive uh, boyfriend and trying to help her figure out who Eileen really is and why she's coming in there. And she, she, Lydia Hurst character kind of feels like she's trying to, uh, like swindle, uh, Tobin Bell out of like money. And cause he's, he's an older man. And, um, but yeah, it's, it was, a, it was a really fun movie. I, I had a blast doing it. And again, like just everybody I was working with, they just, their resumes are crazy. And I just, again, I felt, I was like, am I, Who's, who's going to get fired for hiring me to be working with all these talented actors? That, that's how I felt when I was doing it. I remember seeing this. I'm looking at the film stills right now, and I do remember this movie. I did watch this because I remember it was either she came back. It was like an evening where there was a rainstorm or something or another, and he was in the office and realized that she stole the checks and everything. And yeah, towards the yeah. end, they really had – she looked like Charlize Theron – from yeah 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 that was also that was another actress when she plays when they have the um there's there's scenes where she's being interviewed uh before she she uh because she's on death row before she gets um essentially like the euthanizer um before she gets that the actress that was playing the older Eileen was um I, it was uh, Ashley Atwood I believe is her name and yeah the transformation she did was amazing I thought it, it was really really impressive it is it really really is congratulations on your thank you your uh your successful acting career your modeling career all of the book covers and congratulations uh, for the amazing wedding that you had in Sweden. And it said, uh, my wife and I got married in Sweden last summer, and we are just trying to live our lives to the fullest. Our wedding experience felt like a fairy tale. Everybody at our wedding was present in the moment. It was amazing. And that's what you, um, what you shared on digital journal with Marcos. Yes. Yeah. We, we, uh, my, my wife's, family they have this little vacation house right next to the baltic sea and we were able to get married literally a cut, like we had our altar like maybe 10 feet from the water and just the the whole just everything about it was um so growing up in spokane washington uh my family didn't have a lot of money and just being there and that whole experience was like it just, again, it didn't. It didn't feel real. And I'm. And I was marrying the woman of my dreams, even better than my dreams. And she's my best friend. And it just. It, it was really, really, really amazing. And you are. It says beer not had great words with Emmy Award winning actor and producer Mike Manning, the, who's from the Bay Days of Our Lives. I've interviewed Mike several times and known him for quite a few years. He really is a, a super awesome person. Oh yeah, yeah, he's fantastic. We we actually met through a mutual friend, Michael Testa. He's a casting director um, that I've been friends with for years, and uh, I think it was like the, I want to say it was either Thanksgiving or possibly Christmas. But but uh, Michael Testa invited me to I believe it might have been a friendsgiving, and it was at it was at Mike Manning's house, 
And Mike was like, yeah, sure. Like, of course, have him come over. Cause I think I didn't have any, I did I wasn't going home for that, uh, for that, that year. And, um, but yeah, he invited me over with open arms and they treated me like family. And from then I've gone over for multiple holidays. And I, I think even my 30th birthday, uh, I, we, he, he was throwing a pool party, but it just so happened to be on my birthday as well. And so they, it kind of intertwined, but, uh, yeah, Mike, Mike is insanely talented and just the nicest person and he deserves all the success that he has. I hope you guys get to work on a project in the future. Oh my gosh. That would, that would be a dream come true. You also shared success does not have to do anything with money. It's about being happy with what I am doing. I like that. Um, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, I money makes life easier, but again, it's like, if you're doing something that's, that doesn't, fulfill you inside and you're not passionate about it's it's so easy to just get off the tracks you know and uh, that's i just i've i've always been someone that's uh i pursued things that really really fuel me inside and just fill me with happiness and um like it's money was always that was just that was just a plus if it happened you know and um yeah, I, it's. I, I don't think money can can buy happiness. I truly believe that. Jason from New Mexico wrote, "Congratulations, man! I wish you the best." Thank you so much, Jason. I, I really appreciate that. See, people are listening. They're 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 loving you. They're like, <laughs> and you know, we got Colleen. She's googling. You know, the people are paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully i i i hope hopefully they weren't expecting a a, like a song from me with the, <laughs> with the little promo video i that's what i was worried about i was like this might be too much and then i might be getting requests to sing and people will start tuning out i think if that was the case <laughs> yeah, you stay positive listen you are gaston <laughs> remember you're going to be on disney disney and pixar they may have you for avatar number three who knows seriously you've got it you've got this thank you Thank you to everyone for tuning in live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5. Remember, always be home first, whether you're listening on the app, Alexa, uh, or even on the website. There are people that love going onto the website. You don't need to sign up. You don't need a phone number or an email address. It is free. You can listen anywhere in the world. We also stream live on Live FM Radio, MyTuner, Streama, Stream It, or Dot com and many more 200 countries and counting thank you to all the supporters and to jason and to colleen today colleen happy googling i went and googled as well uh, to pull up some information and uh, i just recently watched that netflix i don't know if you've seen it andrew or not it was really good oh hold on here Oh, thank you, Joseph Swartz. Uh, Joseph, Joseph from Los Angeles here. I think you're fantastic, man. Love your outlook. Wishing you the best. Joseph Schwartz, um, he was also an American boogie woman. He uh, he played Peyton List's younger brother um, in the film. Or just her, her brother in the film. And he if he, he doesn't have um the, he doesn't have a lot of screen time, but when he's on the screen, you can't take your eyes off him. His performance in it is is just amazing, and he's he's truly a talented, talented actor. And you remember that name, jo- Joseph Schwartz, because you're going to be hearing a lot more of it. Well, I, Colleen, I believe you're still listening. I'm googling now. I'm googling Joseph right now. Hold on, S C H W A R T Z, Joseph Schwartz. We were just on a hike yesterday, actually. I, I was um, with him and his girlfriend. He's a great guy. He's an actor, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. All right, because there he is. All right, Joseph. We're going to have to get you on the uh, on the show. I'm going to go to your yeah. IMDb. Oh, wow. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 
Joseph Swartz was born along with his twin brother Derek to Paul and Melinda in the morning in the morning on Halloween in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, Joseph, definitely um, send me your contact information on Messenger, your email, uh, definitely your phone number, and let's chat. This is all. Awesome. See, you never know what's going to come up. This is incredible. Look yeah. at these photos. I love this one. He looks like a. He looks Gucci. The suit, the yeah. um, sweater. Damn. Okay. He's he, he's really an amazing actor. So keep an eye out for him. He has a he has a short film coming out um, called People Person. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's I his performance in it. I I haven't seen it, but just if you watch the trailer, it's it's going to be phenomenal. So really, he's probably going to win a bunch of awards for it when it runs the film. The short film circuit and it's it, yeah thank you for that yeah joseph definitely reach out to me send me your information over on messenger uh or if you want to do email if anyone has uh you know insight and connections or want to be a guest reach out to my team at power 98.5 radio at gmail.com or contact at power985.com. I know the Gmail is on all the radio stations. It's out there on the list for music artists. Uh, An email that is not publicly known is the contact at power985.com. Either way, whether you want to be on my show or Resilient You with Alicia Pazzoni. And then we also have Catherine in company with Catherine Swain. She's got a producer-director I had sent over to her that she's going to be interviewing soon. I don't want to give too much information out about that until we have everything finalized and and knowing that everything is set, but this is going to be awesome. His name is Sean. You guys are going to know him. He's worked on, uh, at Netflix. Um, I think it was NBC. He's got like a lot of great credits for you, Andrew. This has been incredible and most deserving you're you're more than welcome to come on anytime you always have a home here on power 98.5 who would you like to give a shout out to um i want to give a shout out to my beautiful wife um she she is currently out walking the dogs and so that the dogs wouldn't be barking and distracting me while i was on this interview but yeah she just launched um she she works for a company called Atria and they just launched a swimwear brand that she was um, the head designer of. She designed all of the swim, the swimsuit pieces on there. She is so, so talented and yeah, I'm just super proud. I'm a proud husband and I want to give her a shout out. So yeah, Michelle Hertzberg, beer not. Please let her know I said congratulations. I will. Where would you like everyone to go to? Is it Instagram? Where's the hot spot for you? Uh, Instagram is what I'm most active on. I uh, again, your intro earlier saying that you're taking a break from social media and your DMs were probably insane. That's I'm kind of with you on that right now. I need to. I, I'm usually always replying back to everybody on my Instagram, but it's just it's been a lot lately, and I've kind of fell behind on that. But I'm I'm gonna get back on top of it. But yeah, Instagram is where I am the easiest to get connected to. And you're also on Twitter, and I am following you. I didn't know you were on Twitter, and I'm glad we connected on there because it for us, I, I can only speak for the entertainment industry and media, uh, it's a great platform, Twitter is, just to get that quick word out there. I appreciate uh, your connection there, and definitely don't miss it. I'm actually going to go to Twitter right now. Uh, yeah, I, I, I try to stay, I try to post, all my things that I'm doing on there. Um, I, I try to stay up with it, but it's, again, it's like, there's so many, there's so many, uh, social media platforms now. It's like, it's really hard to, it's a, it's a full-time job just to keep up with one of them. It is. Uh, for those that are Twitter lovers, you can head on over to Andrew's page at Andrew M beer, not a N D R E W M B I E R N A T. Your Instagram is, it's not the same, is it? What's your handle on Instagram? Uh, my, my handle on Instagram is Andrew period beer not spelled the same. It's a N D R E W period B I E R N A T. 
Thank you again to Colleen, um, Joseph, and Jason. Really appreciate you guys and for listening today. Uh, If you're not going to be available to listen to this interview when we re-air it, it will be uploaded to the distribution company and it will be available today on Amazon Music, Amazon Audible, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Remember, this is a radio show and not a podcast. Those podcast channels that we use are there for you to share the link to express your love, to be able to catch up and listen to the latest and greatest in content of news, sports, music, and more, and incredible guests like Andrew Beernot. We'd love for you to always be home on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio first for all things news, music, sports, talk, and more. Uh, We just, Alicia just had a new show uh, yesterday, she will be having another one this coming Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Catherine with Catherine and Company is on Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern. And I'm on when I want to be on. Because <laughs> you guys know I run a PR agency as well and, and traveling. Andrew, any closing thoughts, anything before we move on with our day? Um. Just thank you so much for having me. Thank you to all the listeners. Um, you and I need to grab lunch soon. Um, I, I, I'm I, still thinking about our conversation that we had uh, a couple of days ago. We were on the phone for like four hours. It was a fantastic conversation. Um, yeah, I just everybody stay safe out there. Be nice to your neighbors. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone for tuning in today with Mr. Andrew Beernot as well as myself. Oh, just taking a breath. (laughs) I didn't mean to breathe in the mic. Uh, Just a quick recap. We have February 7th, Justin Love, music artist, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. We're doing a live music drop on the 14th with Justin. His new uh, single, titled no friends that's going to be 8 a.m pacific 11 a.m eastern february 14th power 985.com february 9th we have nat and levy 11 a.m pacific we have actor producer james pratt february 11th saturday 11 a.m pacific and then there's another one yes we've got gina pekka February 15th, Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific. She is from Netflix Pressure Cooker. I did interview Robbie Jester. He's the winner of this season, season one of Pressure Cooker on Netflix. And then I also interviewed uh, Mike Eccles. They were the last two uh, in this season. Uh, It was head to head between Mike and Robbie and Robbie won. Congratulations. Gina, once again, those who love her, uh, she she did an incredible job. A lot of great, great reviews. Overall and all, the show's great. A lot of the people were great on air. Looking forward to that with Gina. We have many more guests that could be coming up in between. We will let you guys know. A lot more you know, great news that's coming up with my client, Paralympian Jamal Hill, who won 16 American records in uh last year uh, in swimming jamal hill look him up colleen google him j-a-m-a-l hill h-i-l-l we've got a lot of great things with anheuser bush a documentary is going to be filmed i'm going to be a consultant on this documentary that anheuser and golden road brewery are going to be filming with jamal we're going to be doing media tours this year a lot a lot of great things that are happening and i have just done some really really you know good clothes shopping for this press media tour that we're going to be having i i'm hoping and i put the suggestion in to do the media tour in march and may of this year and then to also have a media tour when the documentary come out it's going to be submitted into the film festivals super excited very excited Uh, since the pandemic i have not been out and about as much as i have been and as i'm going to be and i'm really really excited about that because it's really great to 
to be back on the horse again and you know shaking and moving and grooving and grooving and do what i love most i have to do it joseph swartz thank you colleen jason thank you for tuning in with us today have a great weekend everyone happy new year can you believe it's already february yet make the best life that you believe you deserve to live and to have and to enjoy and to embrace and most importantly be that inspiration you would like to be for others and be the same for yourself have a great weekend everyone Socials and let's connect.